Consider a T distribution with 25 degrees of freedom. Find T sub 0 0.205. So we're dealing with the T distribution. So we do get that bell-shaped curve. That's not quite a normal distribution, but it looks very similar. So it's real hard to tell the difference just by looking at it. Okay, so we get this bell-shaped curve. And we want t sub 0 0.205. So this is the same notation as we've already seen for a normal distribution. Remember if we see, say, for example, z sub alpha over 2, that's the z score with area alpha over 2 to its right, whatever that alpha over 2 number is. So this is the same thing. We want the t score, the t score, with an area of 0 0.205 to its right. So we want a t somewhere over here so that this area, this area is 0 0.205. We are looking for this mystery t value, okay? So we, let's go to the notebook, let's do that, okay? So because we are, dealing with a t distribution instead of a normal distribution. And because we already know the probability, right? We know the area or the probability right here. We're going to use the qt function. Very similar to the qnorm function, but it's using a t distribution. And we're going to plug in the probability we know, which is 0 0.205, OK? We have an extra argument here because it's a t distribution. We need to specify the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom, we're told it right here, we have 25 degrees of freedom. So we're just plugging that right in. 25 degrees of freedom. Lower tail is, and if we look at this, in this particular instance, we have the upper tail shaded, not the lower tail. So we're going to set the lower tail equal to false. Run it. And so the t value or the t-score with an area of 0 0.205, a probability of 0 0.205 to its right, is t equals 0 0.8379. So let's copy and paste that into our answer. Put it into our answer box. Submit. And we have it.